Each year, 400,000 children are bitten by a dog and require medical treatment. That's not an actual number, however. Keep in mind that many bites are not reported. So how do we keep children safe from dogs and dogs safe from children? Remember one thing, children do everything wrong when it comes to dogs. They see a dog and they say, ah! And what happens? The dog jumps up, bites their sleeve, bites their hand. Or they see a dog and they go running over to it, lady, lady, can I pet your dog? Well, if I had somebody running towards me like this, I'd probably back up and growl too, and maybe even bite if they came so close. So it's important that we teach our children how to be safe around dogs. And how do you keep your dog safe from children? When you have people coming over, put your dog inside the crate or inside the bedroom. This stops children from being able to pull his tail, pull his ears, go near his toys and his food. It's less stressful for your dog. It's also safer for your dog because you don't have to worry if someone leaves the door open, what could happen if your dog's running loose is they could run out the front door, three hours go by and you say, where's the dog? I don't know, he was seen running down the street three hours ago. If your dog's in the crate or in the bedroom, you don't have to worry about the kids leaving the gate open. Now, how do you teach children to be safe around dogs? If you have a dog that needs to get used to being greeted by children, what you can do is have a child offer your dog a treat. The other thing is, when you have children, you want to teach them how to come up to a dog politely. So when you see a child in the street, you want the child to come up. Hello, may I please pet your dog? Yes, you may. Thank you for asking. You have the child give a closed fist. You don't want to put a hand out like this because if you put a hand out and the dog goes to snap, it'll hurt a finger. Whereas a closed fist doesn't do that, it's protected. Once the dog has sniffed the child, or hasn't, you can then tell the child, if you'd like to give my dog a treat, you may. Here, doggy. And let him just eat it off of her open hand. And once he's accepted her, when she wants to go pet him, what she'll do, she'll close her fist again, and she'll come underneath his face. Come on. Good. And she'll pet him from underneath as opposed to over the head. A lot of times if you come over the head on the dog, it scares them. But underneath and you start scratching their chin, it's a safer place and it's not such an offensive gesture for a dog. Would you like to give the dog another treat? Yes, please. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Now, you'll see the child walks calmly away from the dog. What you don't want the child to do is run away from any dog. That's a big no-no. Okay, so if the child is playing in their yard, <laughs> all right, and the dog comes running up to them, this is what they need to do. They need to stay perfectly still. The dog will probably sniff them. And as long as they stay perfectly still, the dog will wander off. Now if for some reason, the dog were to start attacking them, they want to drop down on the floor like a ball. And just stay tightly in a ball and don't move and stay completely motionless until the dog is gone. The most important thing that the child has to remember to do is not yell and scream and not run away. Then the dog will want to chase them even more. So staying quiet and calm in a ball like this is the best thing they can do to protect themselves.